Today I have the Hot C229 portable CD player and I love this thing. Yes, this is a portable CD player, but I think it's a perfect companion for your home stereo. If you have watched my channel before, you know I have mixed feelings about RGB lighting. And there are five modes of RGB lighting on this device, but you can turn it off if you don't like it. However, I think with this particular design, it just makes it look that much more modern, which is an interesting dichotomy to the retro CD technology. So I like it. I am not a fan of these buttons. And it's not just because they're small, although they are small, but the light gray writing on the buttons is barely readable for me, even with reading glasses on. And who exactly is your target market for CD players? Might it be the generation with the largest number of CDs? I think that'd be me. There is a built-in 5-watt speaker, and it's okay, but I have serious doubts that anyone's going to be using this as their primary driver. This is the volume knob. It also serves to shut the unit off. There is kind of a quirk in that there is a sleep timer on the C229 and also an inactivity auto shutoff. If either one of those things happens, then you have to turn off the unit at the knob and then turn it back on again to restart it. It's just, it's kind of awkward. I love the large, bright, readable display. No changes required. Here we have the USB-C charging port. I am delighted to see an optical port. We have the headphone jack. We'll talk more about this later. And the TF card slot. Now this will support 128 gigabyte cards. You can play MP3, FLAC, AAC, WAVE, APE, and WMA files with this. The C229 has a feature where you can copy the contents of your CD to a TF card slot for later enjoyment. Whether you'd want to do that or not, I don't know. I don't think that's a feature I would use, but it is available if you choose to use it. This has a beautiful front panel. I can understand why you would not want to put a headphone jack here. You could put one here, you could put one here. I wouldn't recommend it, but you could even put one on top. What I never ever want to see is a headphone jack on the back of the device. I should not have to turn the device around to use headphones with it. But, the, look, I get it. All the other ports are here. A lot of other people make this same mistake, but it's still a mistake. You can transmit or receive Bluetooth signals on the C229. However, I don't think too many people will want to send their Bluetooth audio to this speaker. You can send the output of the C229 to a Bluetooth receiver or speaker. There is a bit of a delay as it establishes that connection. And if you power the unit down and then bring it back up again, it will not remember that connection. You'll have to reestablish it. So that's, it's not the default behavior and it's not ideal, but it does work. My preferred connection will be the digital optical output connected directly to my home stereo. However, that is a CD only feature. You cannot send the output of the TF card to the home stereo over the optical output. Why? I don't know. There is a feature on the C229 that bothers me, and I know it shouldn't. When you're playing a CD, it will spin the CD up, fill the buffer, and spin the CD down while it plays the buffer until the buffer is near empty, and then it spins up again and fills the buffer again, which is great for anti-skipping technology. It kind of disrupts the aesthetics of the CD listening experience. I know. It's, it's nitpicky, but I like it when the CD is spinning. The standard behavior of the C229 is to play the disc and be done. However, you can also repeat one track, all tracks, or shuffle play. 
And as much as I enjoy those features on a CD, I enjoy them even more on a TF card filled with 128 gigabit of my favorite songs. And it works just great. I have to admit that traditionally I am not a fan of CD vertical mounting systems. However, this one is different and I do like it. For one thing, it has a very stable base, so I don't feel like I have to lift up the entire device to mount a CD. Secondly, it has a barn door system. I don't know why that makes a difference, but I, I like it. And it's very easy just to pop the CD in the place. And then the magnetic barn door just kind of snaps shut and it feels very secure. So you sold me on the vertical mounting system. I would like to give a shout out to my college buddy, Eric, who pointed out that this unit reminds him of a Sony CMT EX1 Plus. And I looked at the photos and it does bear a resemblance. I think this looks more modern and whether you think that's a good thing or a bad thing is up to you. I thought I was done adding stereo components at this stage in my life, but the Hot C229 has changed my mind. It has a few quirks, but not enough to change my rating of five out of five. Thanks for stopping by.